We've been talking about Facebook unifying its apps across several different segments recently, and at least obliquely, I suggested that part of that effort was an attempt to make Facebook unbreakupable. We can't divest ourselves of Instagram, because it's so core to and wound up in our overall system, would be the argument. Well, actually, over the weekend, the Wall Street Journal got a look at a document from Facebook's law firm that actually shows the argument the company might use to fight any antitrust lawsuit, and specifically any attempts to force a divestiture of, say, WhatsApp or Instagram. Quote, Facebook's acquisitions of Instagram in 2012 and WhatsApp in 2014 were examined by the Federal Trade Commission, which closed its reviews without issuing an objection. The company made big investments to boost growth on those platforms, and they now share numerous operations that are integrated. In the paper, Facebook says unwinding the deals would be nearly impossible to achieve, forcing the company to spend billions of dollars maintaining separate systems, weakening security, and harming users' experience. Quote, a breakup of Facebook is thus a complete non-starter, the paper declares. Facebook's contention that past government inaction on the acquisition should limit current action is, quote, surprisingly weak, said Tim Wu, a Columbia University law professor, tech critic, and author who has said Facebook should be broken up. A government antitrust case against the company would likely rely on the argument that Facebook made serial acquisitions to reduce competition, a question that wasn't considered when the Federal Trade Commission originally chose not to oppose the Instagram and WhatsApp deals, he said. Quote, there's no way a decision on one merger would be preclusive, he said, noting that the FTC's reviews of both acquisitions had reserved the right to revisit the deals at a later time. Facebook's claim regarding the difficulty of a potential breakup would also be unlikely to carry legal weight. Quote, there is no it's-too-hard defense, Mr. Wu said, end quote. Yeah, but they can try. And then there's also the idea that, until recently, these were separate systems. You would have to think that regulators could make the case that, you know, Facebook operated WhatsApp and Instagram at arm's length for how many years? So just because they quickly Frankenstein monstered them all together doesn't mean much. And also, Ma Bell was pretty friggin' centralized and unitary. And yet, how many baby bells were they able to create out of that? So, also, as Jason Calacanis tweeted, and I've heard him make this case several times before, quote, There is such an easy solution. Force Facebook to A, have a paid tier that collects zero data and has no ads. B, make the social graph portable with one click for users. C, open messenger platforms up and make them interoperable. Privacy protected and competition opened, end quote. In other words, there are many different definitions of the word breakup, you know? 